Talking about anxiety and fear and panic that can really cripple so many people in their life of stopping them from doing something or making something seem like it's more than what it is. If you have ever suffered from fear, anxiety, or not thinking that you're good enough and that stopped you from going for your dreams or your goals or a situation, I'm going to give you two great tips to help you get out of your anxiety, your fear, and then from your anxiety attack and your panic attack because it's real. It's real and it can really stop you from going for what you want. So I want you to be able to push past it. First of all, fear is normal. Anxiety is normal. Everybody has it at some point. Maybe you have to do a presentation. Maybe you're afraid to lose weight because you always failed at it. Maybe you're judging yourself. You're comparing yourself to others. Your heart starts to race. The first thing you need to do when you are being crippled by fear, you're being crippled by anxiety, and you just start to feel that it's filling up in your chest. You know the physical feelings where you start to feel that? You need to breathe. I know you know that, but we forget that in a stressful situation. Right through your diaphragm, deep belly breathing. Whenever I'm about to give a super stressful speech, it's a pause and breathe. You have to remember to breathe when you're panicked with fear and anxiety. Don't give up lunch with a friend, a phone call, a job, an interview, a speech because you forget to breathe. So just breathe. That's tip number one. It's so simple. But we forget and then we go into a panic attack. And a panic attack is when you forget to breathe and you start to, you're starting to really, really panic and then you're going to go have more anxiety. So tip number one is breathe. That's going to slow your blood pressure down. Tip number two is to make sure that you are, this is my favorite one, you have to self-talk your way right out of your crazy. How many times that I felt crazy, said I can't do it, I'm not good enough, I'm not going to be able to... The only thing that's ever gotten me through is self-talk. You have to start to coach yourself when you're having an anxiety attack, when you're panicked with fear, and it leads into the worst type of panic attack. You have to coach yourself and tell yourself why you should do what you do. Because you're too amazing to have anxiety and fear take you away because you can't breathe and because you're getting stuck in your own head. So get down to the ground, grab yourself, grounded roots in the floor and just breathe and let me know how it goes. Send me a message and tell me what anxiety has crippled you in before. What fears do you have? I would love to address them and I would love to help you push past. That's what I do. I coach you out when you feel crazy and when you feel like you can't do it, but I know you can. Getting ready right now for an AMRAP. We are going to compete with each other in a good way. See how this turns out. On the case of talking about fear, I just hit a workout and I was nervous before I started for a couple of reasons because I know what my capabilities are and so I said to you, Shelly, I was nervous. I was feeling fearful because I know how I can compete and today I was nervous and I was like... You're just getting in your own head, buddy. Yeah, I know. Why? Because I expect so much of myself. Mm -hmm. And everything's a competition with yourself and with me and... Yeah, I mean, and it's fun. We love it because that's what pushes me but... Oh man. And it is. When you know where you were at before, fear creeps in.